According to the Wall Street Journal here, Ozempic for everyone, doctors hail GLP-1s. Should everybody be taking them? Should they be put in the water? Let's discuss it. So when we say that these medications can help with heart disease, with liver disease, with Alzheimer's, with neurocognitive disease, with all these other conditions, maybe the underlying mechanism is actually improving metabolic health. And I say maybe, but I say that with pretty fair certainty. So when we read this article, every time we see GLP-1s or we see Ozempic and we say it is good for X condition, it benefits X condition, what I would do is take out the GLP-1, take out the Ozempic and instead put improving metabolic health improves X, Y, and Z condition. That's how I think we should read this article. And I think it should be rewritten to say that. Now, you could also say GLP-1s and Ozempic, Manjaro, et cetera, help with weight loss, which can help with metabolic health, which can then benefit all these conditions, right? So I think you can draw that connection, but I think it's misleading when you lead with GLP-1s cause X, Y, and Z, when it's really the metabolic health. I don't want to say the medications have no role. These medications can be life-changing for so many individuals who struggled with weight loss and struggled with their metabolic health. But I think the point is we don't suffer from a Manjaro deficiency. We suffer from metabolic dysfunction.